10 common causes of inaccurate glucose meter readings. Are you like one of my patients who constantly claims that their glucose readings are incorrect? Well, most of the time, they blame the food or the medication, but most patients are unaware that these factors actually influence glucose meter accuracy. Hi, my name is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I am here today going to teach you 10 reasons why your meter might be giving you false readings. Now, number one is out of date test strips. Check the expiration date on your test strips. Expired ones will not provide you with accurate results. It is critical to keep them in a cool, dry place, such as on top of a fridge or cabinet, where they will be protected from direct sunlight and to keep them in their original container to avoid cross-contamination with other household items. Number two, extreme temperatures can result in inaccurate readings. Glucose meters are an indispensable tool for diabetics, even when you're on Dexcom or Libre, but they're notoriously unreliable. Now, temperature is one factor that can actually influence glucose meter readings. The meter may actually give you a false reading in extreme cold or heat. If you find that the temperature is affecting your glucose meter, try sitting in a room that is closer to the room temperature and taking that reading again. According to studies, cold meters produce inaccurately low readings, whereas the hot meters produce inaccurately high readings. So it is best to avoid extreme temperatures if you want an accurate or more accurate reading. Number three, dirty fingers. Well, due to the presence of sugar and dirt or alcohol on your fingers, you may be in trouble. Before testing your blood sugar levels, you should always wash your hands. Sugar on the finger or the dirt or alcohol can cause all sorts of problems with accuracy. So before testing, make sure to thoroughly clean your hands. Otherwise, you may receive a false reading and believe that your blood sugar is normal when it's not. And this could have serious consequences. Please wash your hands before using a glucose meter for the sake of your health. Number four, wet fingers. Well, keeping your hands is essential for getting an accurate reading, as we said, but many people are unaware that they actually also have to dry their hands. Simply washing your hands is not sufficient. You should also make certain that they are completely dry before testing your blood sugar. Well, the reason for that is that the blood water mixture, I mean, you can figure that out yourself, is gonna dilute the blood sample, resulting in a skewed reading. So the next time you're about to test your blood sugar, make sure you thoroughly wash your hand and dry your hands. It is worth that extra effort, believe me. Number five, a filthy meter. Anyone who has diabetes understands the significance of a glucose meter. You'd rely on them, right? Well, this useful little device can mean the difference between a normal day and a hospital visit. However, as anyone who has used a glucose meter before knows, the dirt, the dust, the other contaminants can cause incorrect readings. This was a major issue in the past, actually, but uh, the new technology has made it much rarer to get an inaccurate reading because your meter is dirty. But, you know, to be on the safe side, try not to let the meter become too dusty, muddy, dirty, whatever. Clean it up and prevent any spillage on it. With a little care, your glucose meter can be a dependable ally in your diabetes fight. Number six, dehydration. We are all aware staying hydrated is critical to your overall health. But did you know that it is also important for controlling your blood sugar levels? When your body lacks water, your blood becomes more concentrated, which can result in high glucose levels. That's why, especially if you have diabetes, it is critical to drink plenty of fluids throughout the day. If you are unsure how much water to drink, a good rule of thumb is to drink some water before you start testing your blood sugars. That way you will always be hydrated and your blood sugar levels will be stable. Number seven, insufficient blood on the strip. Well, you gotta give some generous drop of blood on the test strip that's required for accurate reading. Adding more blood to the strip after a drop has already been present will not improve the test accuracy, so 
If you want an accurate reading from the glucose meter, add a generous drop of blood to the test strip the first time. Number eight, inadequate technique. First, ensure that the test strip is fully inserted into the monitor. Secondly, inspect the batteries and replace them if necessary. And the third, every four to five years, replace your monitor. By following these simple steps, you can actually ensure that your glucose meter provides an accurate reading at all times. And number nine is failure to use your fingertip if you test your blood sugar levels and believe that the reading is incorrect. Well, there's only one thing you can do. Test again, right? Make sure you use the blood from fingertip, not from your arm, not from your legs, not from your toes. This is because blood samples taken from other locations, such as your arm or leg, whatever, they're not as accurate as the fingertip samples when your blood sugar level is especially when it's rapidly rising or falling. Stick to fingertips if you want to be absolutely certain that your reading is accurate. Number 10. Well, it appears that vitamin C can actually interfere with glucose meter readings as well, causing them to read falsely high. So don't be surprised if your doctor checks your blood sugar in the lab and that is completely different from what your glucose meter shows when you're taking high dose of vitamin C. So we have another video about that, but it is important to know that too much vitamin C can cause false readings on your glucose meter. Well, that was it. 10 reasons that your meter can be giving you inaccurate readings. So if you liked this video, please write a comment, share and like, and we will see you in the next video.